beginning of this season, I was getting frightened, as you know. Yeah. And it's just because of the way I think this year has been going that everything I I view now, I I judge from afar Mm -hmm. and just go, oh, here we go. Yeah, this, this is going to be season just like one. every other thing going on. Yeah. Season one, fucking fantastic. Yeah, it was it was quite the experience. Season one. Yeah. Uh, some a, a comic book I've heard of, but I never actually got into yeah which season two has made me look into the background more and i i want to pick some stuff up and check it out um especially this last episode uh episode seven kind of yeah. i guess changed some things around it looks appears um, from the from the comic from the source book. material okay. which i'm okay with i'm okay with a show um using the basis and then kind of go in their own ways with yeah. it but as long as it kind of loops back into the source material so sure you, I, it's still close it's, it as much as you want you know yeah uh black noir for example yeah apparently uh i'm not going to spoil anything mm-hmm. but in the last episode you do get to see his mask off yeah Very um esque yeah enough to know <laughs> that yeah. the comic book when he does that it's a different skin tone yeah, yeah, yeah. Which true. you eventually found out why the skin tone was the reason it was. It was a, a copy of another. Yeah. And it looks like they're not obviously doing that, though they might be doing it with somebody else, which is, again, I think that's pretty good. I think that's fine. I think they have obviously things lined up, and um, I'm very excited. But the first two episodes this season, I guess I was just expecting a lot more from season yeah. one. And also the fact that you get eight episodes. Mm-hmm. And also you have to wait each week to get each episode. So yeah. I really wanted something that was hard hitting in those first two uh, episodes. And I didn't really feel like I got that. I felt like we were just kind of building up the storyline again and i'm like i thought we were already going to continue from where we were from season one which we kind of still did but there was some moments of pause which yeah come on guys you know you're bringing in a lot of other plot elements you well you're bringing in a brand new character that it's playing a a very large part of this entire season too and then you're you got rid of a big character you know at the end of season one with uh, elizabeth shu kind of know meeting meeting her fate but then you have all these other elements that you're really but which kind of sucks because season one but i would have started with elizabeth shu i would have as as you know elizabeth Mm -hmm. shu comes back yeah in a way in some some that would have been a cool thing to see in season (laughs) one the episode first uh, episode it would have been yeah that that was a interesting reveal i mean we won't spoil that but no but then i would have continued it for a couple episodes yeah you know you know i feel like in a lot of ways it kind of told a, a pretty good story about i guess homelander's whole plot point of that part going away and yeah. then trying to bring it back but you know I, I guess it kind of ran its course a little bit but also told you a little bit more about yeah, how but fucked up homelander is in a lot of ways too. season two in a way of season two it's it's more family driven Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, it's it's it's, it's more of a personal story, I guess. It's more personal story for everybody. Yeah. Um, you you have all these characters, especially season two. Their mm-hmm. parents are just terrible fucking people. Yeah, every everybody's parent. I don't care whose parent it is. Other than Simon Pegg's character from season one, who was <laughs> like a good parent, it seems. Yeah. Season two, every parent is just like fucking terrible they took the money yeah did what they did Mm -hmm. and they're still fucking up yeah and i understand that would have been a cool little i mean that's part of homelander's whole thing Mm -hmm. having that with elizabeth shoe 
Yeah. Again, I would have started that earlier and mm-hmm. then formulated that a little bit better and then kind of because the problem was the season for me it's you have those two episodes third episode a little bit where it kind of was just setting things up and then yeah four five six seven it's like so much shit happens so much Mm -hmm. amazing great fun little elements that they throw in there and yeah it's like edging you know it's just like edging (laughs) just a little bit until you're about to and then holding back. I know we're we're ex- we're experts. If we're edging experts, we're edging experts. Holding it in just enough where it's like, <sighs> then you just hold off and it's like, okay, episode four. Like because nice now hot we're at the point, stuff. yeah, that it's just like every episode you go to sit down and you're like, oh, here we go. It's it's a roller coaster of a ride. Yeah, and I mean the last episode, the penultimate episode, you're still seeing some crazy shit happen and you still don't really know who's causing this because uh, we saw what happened idea. you you have an idea it could but be a certain character we kind of just met it could be yeah it could be i'm i'm uh, i don't know there's a lot of things that kind of i haven't read the source material so i mean that's what's good about this and i guess that's what's, what's kind of good about what preacher was for a long time too because same guy garth ennis did preacher and I read maybe the first collection of that. And Preacher is probably something I got to go back and revisit after I'm done with this season, to, to be honest. Because at least that show is done as well, too. But that, that also had the same amount of fucked up, crazy shit kind of going on. But it was still not, not superhero based, at least. So, Like I said, in the first, the first two, the problem, of course, I think we all have with season two mm. of The Boys. And correct yeah, me if I'm wrong. Well, do you still have the same problem you're probably going to say now than you did in the beginning of the season? K- kind of. I mean, okay. it's it's waiting every week for it. Uh, see, I don't have a problem with that. I all. have a big fucking problem with I, it. I know. You got Why? three episodes to start the show. You got three right out of the gate. Did we? I thought, I thought we no, only got two. started with three, I think. I think it was three mm. episodes week one, and then ever since then, it's been one, 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 one. Yeah, I just, you know what? I just want you to give it to me. Yeah, you want we to live be- in a world now where we shouldn't have to wait. TV's dead. I don't want episodic <laughs> shows anymore. I think it should all just come out. You watch it when know. you want. I, I will I say I this, mean. though. Hmm. The Boys is literally carrying Amazon Prime for me. Yeah, you don't think Utopia is going uh, to... It's not, it's not pairing so well with uh, no, some viewers. It's, have you seen? Oh, I know we're I've seen some movies. reviews. It's it's, yeah, it's not good. I haven't done my review yet, but I like. Have you watched it? Oh yeah, I, I, I that one that, that one all came out at the same time, so I binged it in uh, two okay. days, Friday and Saturday. Eight episodes. <laughs> uh, eight episodes. Yeah, it's um, and this is getting off topic from what the fuck we're talking about now. No, I, I think I think it matters because yeah. at the end of the day, I really feely believe strongly feel that amazon prime doesn't really have much going for it other than the boys yeah it's i mean it's, it's a true amazon original i mean it's all be, it's all based on a comic book uh, right Venice, but it's still original versus utopia you can say an amazon original because it's not really original it's a remake it's a, though it's a remake of a much more a much better from the uk show. The UK, um, the UK, and we've been talking accents lately. Uh, but yeah, you've, well, you've seen the original. Have you seen the original? Just a couple. Yeah, I haven't really. It's been a while, but um, see, here's here's. I didn't really dive into it. Okay, so my perspective on it is that if you've seen the original and you see the remake, you're probably going to say this is fucking god awful. It's horrible. But yeah. if you have not seen the original, you might actually potentially like this remake of the original more so i will try one episode for you uh, you can't get me with that first episode the first episode's not awful but it's here's the thing i i can't get out i can't get the first episode of the original out of my head so i'm at, i'm automatically always going to be judging against already you know work that's already been done yeah so it's it's hard to say like oh wow that's good it's like it's it's very it's kind of annoying actually and are they release each episode per week 
Nope, that's it's already all out. You can watch the entire series. All so why why is the boys slowly coming out, and then a show that came out the exact same time as season two of the boys is already out? Probably because it, it's a better show. Yes, probably. and they want people to stick around. And they want people to stick around week to week. They don't want people to sign up for a fourteen day free trial and watch yeah. season two. Basically, yes. Gotcha. But they could still do that eventually when the whole series comes out. 14 days, you watch the whole thing. I'm sure. Watching. But sure. it's going to, if you're already in there, you're going to, you know. Yeah. I, the very end. I feel like Amazon Prime video was terrible in the beginning. Slowly hmm. within the last couple of years has gotten better. Yeah. Uh, Man in a High Castle, mm-hmm. I really enjoyed. Uh, um, Bosch, I really enjoy. Yeah. But I feel like, and of course the boys, but I yeah. feel like it's starting to go back down again. Yeah, well, I mean, there's only, only so much, you know, qual- I guess quality TV you can potentially put out. I mean, I know a lot of people like that Homecoming show too, which right. I liked it. I thought that was pretty good, to be honest. I thought it was entertaining. So, Yeah, it's not like HBO where it's just – constant right yeah it's constant but it's you know it's hit and miss with amazon and i feel like netflix is kind of going that route again yeah well it's you know qual- they get a great quality, show and then they cancel quality yeah well that too yeah it's like hey that was that to me fucking fantastic mm-hmm. apparently got great ratings yeah it's so, done. well were they done with their storytelling were they just like okay we're, we're done with the story we don't really have anything else to say i don't know i don't know the the as I know, as the last season ended, there was more. Oh, okay. And I think they might do a third season. Yeah. And that's it. So mm-hmm. I'm glad that they're giving the writers a chance to seal some things up. Well, the thing is, you're already making, you know, that, uh, what, what, what are you. Dark Crystal, man. Dark Crystal was the. Yeah, everybody was really into that. That was age, great. That, that Age of Resistance, or whatever it was called. Yeah. There. You know, everybody was super into that. And they were like, I think it's just too expensive. Probably. And they probably looked at it and said, you know what? We can do two, three shows with this amount of money. We could do two, three lackluster, shittier shows. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, let's just maybe start with like, um, what have you liked a lot about this season two? Maybe uh, more so than maybe you liked from season one. I, li- I like the kind of I feel like this this entire thing like we, we mentioned earlier it's more of a personal type of stories for everybody but then right when you and I kind of like this too because I think it really fucks with the viewer in a lot of ways where it's like ha we're finally going to get some the good guys are going to win a little bit like the good guys quote unquote are going to win but no the good guys aren't going to fucking win or the guys who are trying to fight against these superheroes are going to win but everything just gets really shuffled and fucked up. So I like the fact that there's a uh, a sense of hopelessness in, in this season too, which I find kind of fun. And I hope it's edging to the end where you're you're so hopeless, you're not going to be able to have it happen. And then at the end, it's just, you're going to get something really, really good at the end that makes all the sad and hopeless shit kind of going and i like the fact that they play up billy joel a lot more in this season than they did in uh season one i feel yeah. I feel like he billy joel was in season season one but he's super heavy yeah. into uh season two which i find it's just like a funny inside joke and I, again from the source material i don't know if huey is the biggest fucking billy joel fan in, in the entire world or if they just want to include it, they just wanted to include Billy Joel in the season. Yeah, and it, it, it literally arced over a few episodes. Yeah, I, I think up until maybe this episode, there really wasn't a reference, I don't think. But the first, act, first six episodes, it was either yeah. him wearing a shirt or him listening to a song or him watching a video or something like that. It's all Billy Joel to in, in, you know, in, in the film so, or in yeah. the uh, TV show. So um, I like the fact that this show is very much like what hunters in a lot of ways where it's like man this is like fucking hopeless and shit is just not gonna turn out right in a lot of ways hunters another amazon original was actually really fucking good so with uh al pacino without al pacino oh yeah oh i'm a hunter 
which I'm again kind of got some pretty mixed reviews. It did. I mean, yeah. I, I I I dug that show. I thought it was pretty pretty good. Um, but yeah, what what do, what have you kind of liked? I'm being cagey because I don't want to give up fucking spoilers right I now. I know. I again, we don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. We could just say like, hey, this is spoiler free now, but I like end, we'll fucking bust a nut all over everything. I like the idea that this season. Yes, again, Homelander is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a particular scene um, where he's facing a, a large crowd and he thinks yeah. of what he wants I to do. I did like that part a lot. I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I... I was disappointed he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> something about that. I was like, holy shit, we really jumped the fucking yeah. gun on this. Because no, was, epi- was that episode one? No, 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 no. That was like... That was early. Five, that, no, I think that was pretty early because that's when he's getting like, you mm. motherfucker. And people are like, I fucking hate you. I yeah, think it was no, right, think it, right, right when they announced the compound B thing, I thought maybe. It was, uh, it was, it was, maybe. it was when he got caught trying to save somebody and, and fucking killed like a kid. Yeah. Okay. It was. He yeah. just walks in and just acts all egotistical, mm-hmm. uh, quite the asshole. Yeah. Um, is it Anthony Starr? Is his name? Uh, the actor? A- Anthony, Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, because he's like, Star. yeah, because he doesn't have the H in there, so it's like Anthony Starr. Yeah. Anthony Fucking fantastic. So. He's really good. I just he gets. It's incredible, and and the playoff with him and a new character that they introduce. Yeah. Yeah. And the story we could talk about her. She's pretty well known in the in the trailers. I feel and everything. The storm. Yeah. Her. Well, I think I think there's some portions of it we shouldn't really talk about. Yeah. That are surprising, but they introduce somebody new to the mm-hmm. team. Um, and they utilize uh, the B two movement, the, the 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 wake, the woke people. And there's the woke movement, the Me the Too movement, movement, the. Uh, and I guess MAGA and uh, well, last and episode definitely quite definitely a bit. huge with that. So yeah, it's very it's, topical shit going on. These these superheroes are extremely evil, and they're yeah. just lying to the public, and the public mm-hmm. eats it up. And um, again, I guess we'll keep saying the last episode, episode seven. There's a particular event that happens where a lot of people are dying and they're just mm-hmm. looking and kind of smirking and they're just taking it in, not trying at all to, to, yeah. to help out. And I just love that they have this relationship and um, there are a few scenes of them just getting together and mm. just fucking. Yeah. And, smashing people's heads in yeah that, that was that was what episode six that was like the cold open pretty much yeah the beginning yeah yeah that was, that like, was uh robber wasn't he like a bank robber or something it was a bank like robber that? and it was like hey you shouldn't do that and then they, they and then they, she they, grabs his crotch yeah. and he just starts squeezing the guy's hand as she rubs yeah. him i just love that i think that's great i think that's that's just an incredible uh incredible moment to witness because i never i i mean not that offends me i love it i think it's great but yeah. the 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 idea that they have no boundaries and they can kind of do what they want there was a guy there's i don't know if you want to call this a spoiler alert, but there's a guy with a very large penis and that wraps <laughs> around somebody's neck and it's it's goofy as all fuck but it's it is it is the exact show that we as people need these days where Mm -hmm. we can literally again the whole point and i've said this so many times it's it's a well-known fact that entertainment like movies and tv shows and music is an escape from reality and you really don't want to be constantly reminded of everything that's going on in this world Mm -hmm. of course this show is going to have to it does a little bit of both it has to do that but also it plays the card differently yeah right it's not changing because of it which was Mm -hmm. a worry i had in the beginning but it's utilizing the the woke movement yeah uh, as a as a as a beat in the story and kind of blows it up in a way it 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 shows you 
well, why can't we just yeah not have to deal with this shit it's yeah. obviously yeah. you're being lied to it's marketing yeah uh, uh there is a character um uh uh, Queen Mae, who is yeah. bisexual, she says she's bisexual. Yeah, but they company, turn her into saying, like she's a lesbian. That she's just like you're a lesbian. It's like no, I'm yeah. both. Like, so no. when she's with a guy, what the fuck? And it just goes over their head, and they don't, they don't yeah. listen. They're just it's marketing and marketing and marketing, mm-hmm. and we live in it. We're dealing with it at a at a rate we've never seen before. But dude, to sit to go to work to come home to sit down. To see a guy with, you know, a 75 foot long penis wrap around yeah. somebody's neck and try to choke him. I'm and that's a like, superpower. He just says, that's a superpower. Russian dick. Goofy is all hell. I get it. But at the end of the day, I love entertainment like this where it's creative, it's out there, it's naughty in a way. It's yeah. violent. Well, it's it's very sub- it's subversive. In, Last uh, episode but... again, we watched the porno uh, yeah. with these heroes. There's the a cu- porno the that's cuckold, playing. The cuckolding porn was uh, yeah, funny and interesting. It's like it's and and and, and this <laughs> season really also has been making fun of DC a lot. Uh-huh. DC is is a is a joke. In this world, uh, the dawn of the seven. Dawn of the seven. Well, just the seven in general. The, the seven. And the director. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the director's name is Josh, right? Yeah, I think it's Josh. They yeah. keep talking about Josh, Josh this, Josh that. So Josh, it's Josh, Josh. It's not Zach. It's obviously poking yeah. um, <laughs> fun at some stuff that's going on in the DC world, and. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that. I think that is just, it's ballsy. It's fun. I'm glad we didn't uh, get the complete opposite of season one. Right now, I think season two is, is, has really met every feeling I was hoping for season two to have. Yeah. But it's also building up some, because I mean, obviously we already know there's going to be season three. They announced season three before season two even premiered and everything. So it's building up these, relationships and things going on especially in in this last episode i feel like there were a lot of hints and tips of the hat at a just more more fuckery kind of ahead and seeing how i can't wait so it's uh it's seeing two superheroes have sex oh yeah when's have you ever when's the last time you have i mean I don't know. Beat the I, shit at each other, throwing yeah, each other through fucking like tables. The ultimate just fucking sadomasochistic, hot, sexual, yeah, superhero relationship. It's like open burn my shit, tits, burn my shit. fucking tits off, and everything. It's just, you know, it's <laughs> you don't see shit like that. So good, good on Amazon for doing a show with some fucking uh, some nerve to make fun of shit and also not really fucking care. Terror. As much as people might fucking hate Jeff. Uh, zero, uh, Jeff, fucking Jeff Bezos. Bezos. I was gonna say Zeros, but yeah, Zero. that's the other guy. That's the guy that thinks he's in the deep state. Uh, yeah, Jeff Bezos. At least he's. I'm, granted, I'm sure Jeff Bezos doesn't give a fuck what he what they show on Amazon at this point too. Yeah, but, he just wants to rule the yeah, world. He just wants to rule the world like like a real Lex Luthor, which they haven't really done a Lex Luthor type character in the show yet. Which maybe hopefully they will at some point. The closest uh, we got was that bald guy. Who, I think we're getting close with um, somebody Giancarlo? that's running the organization right now. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. He's controlling a, a particular character uh, mm-hmm. of the seven. Yeah, so we're going to find out. Um, what's I know there's a lot of stuff we don't want to talk about because, you know, it's still new you know this is our take this is our feelings of season two what's the line of demarcation of when we can actually spoil certain things on this uh, i would say after the last episode so uh, we could always do that so after next week it's all everything's off the table i I think so it's 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 weekly now so after next week i think uh i think we could talk about it a little bit more in detail but also I think it's it's I think we live in a world where you have to be respectful of people's time and yeah. uh you know not everyone gets to see everything exactly when it comes out. What? Yes. 
Oh my uh, God. That said, if it all came out at one time, I, I say we're long beyond that and we could talk mm. about it. But I think this is definitely a show that you have to watch. You can't listen to two jerk offs talk about don't something. These two fucking to spoil it. Fucking you got to fucking sit down and watch it. And I think it's one of, if not the best show on television in a way. I know it's not on TV, but. I watch it's, it on my TV. It's not. So. It's not TV. It's Amazon Prime. It's Amazon Prime. That's the new thing right now. It's not TV. It's Amazon Prime. Totally. Jeff Bezos uh, fucking owns your ass. I pay that Amazon Prime subscription every mm-hmm. year, and this is one reason why I pay it. Yeah. Give me something good. Give me something I can watch. Even though I don't like on Amazon now that they they bleed, they bleed the purchasing options now, where it's not like here's all your free stuff. It's something you got to be very careful about the stuff you can watch because if it doesn't have the little fucking prime notch on the left hand corner, you know, you're going to have to pay some money for it. Yeah. It's, I don't like that. That pisses me off. They obviously do it for a reason. Oh, I would really yeah. love to watch. I got excited because I thought this was part of my Amazon this is, Prime. No, it's like, no. Oh, it's $2. I guess I'll buy it. Yeah. At the same time, it's like, oh, $3.99 to rent an HD or $2.99. But I'll be honest with you, I haven't used my Netflix in months. I've, I don't. I think I've used my Hulu uh, subscription more than my Netflix wow. recently. Yeah, go, go fucking go fucking figure. You know. There's yeah, been, I I bought a few a, on, uh, on HBO on for I I bought HBO for Amazon. Mm-hmm. That's all I use. I don't use Netflix anymore. Other people use my Netflix account, but I don't use it. There's a few things on Netflix, but. No, not, not right now for me. Not right now. I and that's what I'm saying. It's uh, this show's totally worth it on every point. Mm-hmm. Well, Even if you're not into superheroes, like I like into shit like this with characters like this. Yeah, fucking hilarious. It's a it's a pretty it's fucking dark, dark fucking hilarious. Happens to have superhero shit. Fun. Yeah. Creative. I get, to your point, I have to give Amazon credit. They let the writers do what they want. Yeah, exactly. As far as so, I know, they don't hold anything back. Obviously, no. it seems they, like they don't. And with a lot of the shows, they really don't, to be honest. I mean, The Boys included, but, you know, like I mentioned Hunters before, too. You know, they do all types of crazy shit, and that's even darker in a lot of ways. And Man in the High Castle, where it's not as dark, it was still pretty, I don't say edgy material, but no... Kind of, kind of, sort of edgy, you know. Even though based on a book and stuff, but you know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, there's no way you're going to be able to translate something that's written onto something on the screen." It's like, well, look, look what they're fucking doing on uh, Amazon with the boys, where it's like, you wouldn't be able to put that on a fucking screen or anything, you know. It's but they're making it happen. And, and now, one thing I want to talk about is the the collective. Um, the Church of the Collective. Mm. I really, I really fucking love that. And I feel like that needs to be flushed out more. I'm there's more to it. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that it's almost a side conversation, but they do bring some more stuff into it. That's to design this, this week. That's to design. Yeah, because you've only had really one character basing it around. I don't. Now I, you have two, but I know. don't think the Collective is going to disappear after season two. I think yeah. it's going to be a a, a pretty large point of season three i think yeah. there's more to it i think there's mm-hmm. some secrets there obviously yeah. they're hiding some things i think they are also and it's obvious if something like this was true mm-hmm. um, if there was a company like this you would have this religious cult that would try to utilize it <laughs> yeah yeah there's something there and i think that guy has something going on as well the leader of it yeah um i think he's hiding probably some abilities um yeah and i think a lot i think a lot of people are hiding some abilities i think there's yes. people that we don't think have abilities yet that have abilities that we just don't i think people we've been watching know. have abilities yeah including a major character i feel i don't know if you're thinking the same character but i think there's definitely something uh kind of going on with one character in particular yeah i think so too you think so maybe yeah. we're on the same page maybe we're not i don't know maybe it could be who, 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 who fucking knows but i think knows. i think that's great that gives it that mystery feel to it that makes you want more i mean mm-hmm. 
This the show is like a drug to me now. And I look forward to every fucking Friday. Gotta, gotta get my fix. I gotta, gotta get my fix. You know, before it was, oh, I could just shoot myself up in one day and I just pass the fuck out. And that's that. Oh now you gotta now you gotta work you gotta you gotta ease your way into it week to week, you know. Yeah, I gotta find somebody to get me my fix on every Friday. Gotta mm-hmm. wait a whole week. Um I'm not into that. I think those days are long past us. If you got eight fucking episodes, don't fucking drag it out. Give it to me, baby. I don't know. You, that's where you and I we we, we, we disagree. Fucking, we disagree. We agree to that. disagree. We agree to disagree. It's something I, I can look forward to every week when I'm like, oh, good, a new episode to watch, where it's like, before it was, well, well also the the conversation you have with people where if you don't, you know, and this is the, the, the fucking horrible part about this, this, this culture of immediacy, is that if you don't watch everything in one weekend or one day or something, it, then it's fucking old news. You can't, you can't have an, a, a, you can't have a conversation about it sure. anymore because Oh, sure. I watched that. I watched that last week. Everybody's already made their fucking points about it. On to the next fucking show the following week. Whereas this, we're able to talk about this shit after episode seven. You know, in in the what second, third, fourth, about six weeks the show's been going on mm-hmm. right now. Six, five or six weeks. And, but you know, to, that. to that, I would give you that if all shows fall that. But when Amazon itself is picking and choosing which shows yeah. come at once and not, mm-hmm. I have a problem with that. I really, I really think you should just pick one and go with it. We live in a different world now. Yeah. This is how things should be. Mm. People, people's schedules are different. And I think episodic television, like we've had in the past where we had to wait, it's done, man. Like all this shit's done before. But it's not really... Out. It's not episodic in a way. It's episodic in a way that you release one every week. However, you could still go back and watch all the episodes if, that you've missed. Whereas before, if you missed that episode, you would hope you would have to hope that a rerun would occur for you to well, catch back up. Even now I mean, rerun uh, recordings of it. People would. Rec- I mean, we have had DVRs for fucking. We've had, we've had DVRs for a good 10, twenty years. Almost. Years. I mean, let's say, say fifteen years, something like that. Yeah, good, yeah, VHS players prior to that. Yeah, yeah, but you would you had to actually have a physical item in order to record it with. Whereas, sure, you but we live in a like different click world. the button. We all have essentially high speed internet that we can watch on our phones. We can watch anywhere we go. I just I think I think TV is 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 a I've always said is a dead medium mm. for a long time. As we do our podcast, we talk about shows that we're watching, and I'm almost never really watching a show, especially on the major networks like ABC, NBC, no. um, Fox. I don't, I don't watch TV anymore. I watch Netflix, yeah. Amazon, uh, HBO. Well, you watch apps. You you watch an app. That's why NBC has Peacock now. CBS has All Access. Yeah, nobody. But I also watch old old shows. Yeah, you watch uh, Columbo and shit like I that. I just yeah. don't think uh, network television is creative anymore. I think it's dull. Mm. I think it's a waste of my fucking time. And when you can have a show they can do, you know, HBO was the main game for a long time because they didn't have the FCC rules that they had to abide by. Yeah. They could say fuck. They could show this. Yes, they, they could do whatever do the fuck they wanted to do. Yeah. Growing up, it was awesome. I mean, growing up, like watching The Sopranos was a different experience because fuck this fuck that you've seen a guy's head get blown off yeah why the fuck would i go and watch abc shows yeah you can't go back this is what i want to watch this is good shit heads get blown off yeah of course amazon netflix hulu they can do it now they can do what they want and i i love that freedom of creativity and this show Show's fucking great. The boys yeah. is, is great, and mm-hmm. I'll 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 stay I'll stay with them until the end. Even if they get shitty, you know we could we could say that with Game of Thrones. I'll you're, stay, you're that, I'll you're stick that with deep. them to the end. Well, here's the, the thing about even the differentiation between Game of Thrones and this. This at least has a clear ending where you know how to end the show. 
Yeah, uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a lot of people were upset with the way the boys' comic ended. It's like they were happy with it. Whereas Game of Thrones, no, they were left with a fucking like a, in a snowstorm. They had a fucking flat, like a fucking match in a, sh- in a sh- fucking sh- a snowstorm to fucking figure out. Oh, okay, well, how are we gonna end it? Like, well, we don't have a clear ending, so we have to, you know, think of a way to end it. And, you know, unlucky for them, they had uh, DB Weiss and the other motherfucker have to guide them through. Nothing against those guys. They had some good ideas for a little bit as long as they weren't theirs. But then they fucked up at the end where they were like, well, here's how we think it should end. It's like, well... And then they had the bright idea that they wanted to do that uh, Confederacy show too that got shut down. So that tells you a lot. I also think that was laziness. I think that was, we're done with the series. We want to be over with it. The creativity has expired. So it's like aborting your child in like the eighth eighth month. Like, yeah, it's like you know what I wanted a kid these last eight yeah, years. Yeah, I was really liking this kid idea, and then hanger coat hanger in there. So yeah, it doesn't really work anymore. So they coat hanger Game of Thrones at the very end. The boys, I feel like uh, the boys knows their end game. Yeah, well, they and... have a clear ending. They they know how they should end, and whatever they do between now and the end, whatever the fuck, as long as everything makes sense at the end. And, and all that stuff that's i feel uh, good i feel good with this team i feel good with the creativity well, seth rogan and evan gold i mean all those guys i mean that's that's why they made preacher you know yeah be so be so good because they well amc funny enough you know the, yeah. another channel that's not really you know it's not premium it's not network it's you know in that middle ground but they're also the same network that did breaking bad and they do better call saul and they do they did walking dead for a while before everybody fucking hated it um, and they did a few other but again, things. again, past, like. past the expiration date. Yeah, yeah. Walking Dead passed. had an expiration date. They passed it. There is there is a Best Buy date on there. Yeah. Don't eat it after. Best before this, yes. Yeah. But, Boys, we're talking about season two, mm-hmm. still fresh, still creative, still really fucking yeah. good. The and the best fucking shit yeah. you can watch right now. Yeah, and to your point, bet like still the right the right actors, the right creative team. You know, Carl Urban's fucking great. Um, I like uh, fucking uh, Jake Quaid. I forget who's who's Quaid kid is he? He's a uh, ja- Jack Quaid. Yeah, he's Dennis Quaid's kid. Dennis Quaid's son. Uh, here's the thing: Meg Ryan, Meg Ryan, and the. So that Dennis was Meg Quaid's Ryan. Son. That was Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid's kid. I okay. think yeah. Okay, so that's kind of why he's kind of halfway talented. Yeah, I like him. He's great. He's great in the show. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, the one that the, the girl that played the uh, fucking what's her name in uh, Star Wars Squad. Uh, 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 Fukuhara. The, uh, female. Her name is yeah, right. The, the female. Yeah, the, yeah, the one. Uh, she's a great addition. Yeah, she's really good. Her and her background and her brother and stuff like that. I was really enjoying a lot of that. There was something yeah. there. I like this. I like this whole idea of like they're not and they're not calling them super villains in a lot of ways. Like super terrorists is kind of the name, which makes sense for fucking American audiences. I feel it's like well, they're not super villains, especially in in this world that's been built as well. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I like this this show a lot. I mean, great cast. I just wish they would concentrate on a few like. Mother's Milk seems to have taken up a, a way back seat. They, I mean, you find a, you find a little bit about him, like that one episode where they go down and uh, find find the woman who. Uh, who's yes, and and he's brother. talking about his father. Yeah, and... and I'm like, oh, I like this. Give me more of this, and then they yeah, kind of that. kind of sort of you know make it go away a little bit. You know, sadly. Yeah, I want mother more Mother's Milk. Uh, Frenchie, we got a little yeah. bit of Frenchie's. Got, got his background. Uh, season uh, episode six. Mm-hmm. got with, a lot uh, more of that with the lamplighter situation you yeah. get that and even with the uh the 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 cia agent what's your name the uh the main one you find you, there's snippets the blonde, the blonde yeah. yeah you you find a, that there's some something going on deeper you don't really know what it is but you know it has something to do with Frenchie yeah and that and that was that. good i enjoyed that because i i was always kind of curious to it just seemed like uh this is how it was and, and that's it. And we're not going to tell anything more. So it was good to hear more about the background of everybody in this group that was here beforehand. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. More of that's great. Yeah. That's the personal stuff I like, which I think we've kind of lost where yeah. everything kind of shifted towards 
the, you know, two specific characters on in the, the relationship. Set, you know, the relationship with I think is it's good because you have which to build- also brought out some other stuff. It did, yeah. Well, uh, what was it? Uh, episode six that you kind of learned the big reveal about the the new character and her motivation and her uh, her history. And, yeah, you know, Vought, more Vought history. As I hope. Well, too. I hope. You know what I hope for season three because I don't think we're going to get in the last episode. Hmm. I hope we get some. I hope we get some flashbacks. Black and white flashbacks yeah. of them creating this drug, her and her husband. Mm-hmm. I want some of the, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I want. Some I want of that. that castle out in Germany. Yeah, I want to see like what they're doing in, in the basement of the. Of I want the some like castle. Wolfenstein feels yeah, to it. Some 1940s kind of stuff going yeah. on. Some like 1930s with some. You uh, could do like the cinnamon bun in Better yeah. Call Saul. You could do, do that. Fucking like steal that if you want. Every I mean, episode. Just so, yeah, I could, I could unless they wanted to go that route, maybe in season three or something like that. I feel like it would be a lot to ask for a lot of that at the end of season of uh, season two. Yeah, it could be a couple episodes with some nice flashbacks. That's all yeah. I need. I just there is a lot there, and some good stuff that I would love to see. Yeah, it would even be better. Whatever you know, what would be better. Mm. Season two ends between season two and season three. You have a little mini series. You do a little of that five stuff, episodes, little, like that Alien Covenant type stuff or Alien uh, Prometheus stuff that they would always do in between the, Just, the movies and stuff. Like do, that. do 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 yeah. Have like that. Little snippets, like five minute snippets of like history of this, history of this, history something. Of that. So Just yeah, a little prequel. Because yeah, we don't know a lot of the history about these. Uh, Unless see, do you think ep- season three will get more individualized episodes of each hero in what they did post uh, the uh, what do you call it? compound V type thing? Yeah, I I I could see that happening, but I don't I don't want that. You my like- one of my all time favorite shows, Arrested Development, mm-hmm. went down that way. Yeah, and it just didn't work. Yeah. In fact, they even re-edited it after the fact to try to get back to the way it should have been. Yeah. I think you have to be cautious. You have this many characters. Yeah. Well, people like origin shit, though. That's why people are like, well, what made them do this to be this way and things like that? And that's like the yeah. classic super. And I, I feel like we've flushed Oops, out a few. Shit, you know? Um, I feel like there's a few characters we've got enough of mm-hmm. right now. Um, that we can push off to the side. I think there are other characters we haven't really dove into yet that yeah. I think is what you're probably more yeah. wanting to hear more about. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I find interesting though is that they have our, our biggest issue season three, Black Noir. We wanted more of that. I remember yeah. we were talking about that uh, with DJ as well, and he was like, yeah. and I was like, I wanted more. I felt he was thrown off to the side and not yeah. used. And now we got him in this this, and I think he's he's used good. In this he's season. he's used sparingly, and it, mm-hmm. it's kind of interesting because like uh, I like the aspect that when people mention Black Noir, people are like, oh fuck, like it's like he's like the fucking Terminator that gets thrown out there to take care of the business, but there's still little there's quirky things about him. There are in, in the show. That make him feel like you know, uh, like there's one episode in particular where there's that right there, uh, the old almond joy. But then there's the one thing where they make the big splash about what, like how everybody got their powers, and you see him kind of like weeping and crying in some ways. It's like that's kind of a weird thing uh, with him too, which kind of makes you want to figure out. I have I have a theory that I think he was part of like a cloning program as Mm. well. I think he's he's got so much behind that mask. I feel like he's got a background that would yeah. just be awesome to show. But there, there's so much that you can do. But going back to origins, like the only origins we really know are the human being origins. We, there's no origins that have been told really yet about any of the superheroes. Yeah, you kind of heard like, a little bit of each. Pur- I don't know if that's purposeful or not, but it's like, well, not even, not, okay, well, maybe. You know about Homelander. 
you you kind of do you you know his deal in the abstract that's character to character him talking to characters and finding stuff out but you've never had like the ultimate like well here's what happened when he's a kid or a boy or growing up or anything like that you know what i mean there hasn't been that one moment where maybe he was a good character and then he kind of snapped and became the shitty horrible motherfucker that he is today but i would say also like a train for example Mm mm-hmm I think I've I've heard enough of Adrian. Yeah. Well, what else are you going to tell about that? You you, you kind of know that, right? His, and that's what I'm saying. I, I, like, thing, I feel like yeah. we've heard enough. Yeah. Of but these like, characters. But Queen Maeve, I, I can find more out about. Yeah, but I feel it's too late. Yeah, at this point, you kind of know her big her big thing is what she is right now, or what they've told her that she has to be. And then you know, go Black Noir, find more about him. Do you, do you want to know more about the Deep? I'm good. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I've we focused a, f- a few times this this year this season on the deep. I like yeah. the deep as a character. I yeah. do a lot and I love the Pat Oswalt uh, connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, with the deep. Mm-hmm. But the deep is a different type of character than the seven. Yeah. Uh, of the seven. Um of course he's not part of the seven anymore. Sorry yeah. if I spoiled it. But the thing well, is, he, well, he wasn't part of the seven in season one. He got kicked out, right? Pretty much he got in kicked season out. one. So if you don't know that already, like, fuck but off. he's like such a goofy character that's always going to be there. Yeah, and he's always going to be that, like that comedy ball that he is. Like, there's, yeah, there, he's, he's going to be. Yeah, he's used in the right way. I feel like we got a lot of them in the, the uh, first few episodes of the season. I think we yeah. have more of him than mo- almost anybody else. To be but honest. he was also used as a character, as a vehicle to bring in the collective. Yeah. Somebody else. And I feel like there's a domino effect there. And I think mm-hmm. that's how his character should be used. Yeah. I don't need, like, I don't want an episode of, of hearing about his, his, his yeah. upbringing, essentially. Mm-hmm. But he is also to combat what I just said, he is also very fucking interesting of a character because he talks to fish and he talks about, uh, they're looking for the black box. Yeah. Yeah. For for the airplane that goes down. Yeah. I I mean, there is so much there I would do with him just talking to fish and stuff that I would love to see. Um, you remember season one, one of my favorite moments is he rescuing the dolphin yeah <laughs> i like that i like the i like the lobster bit that they do with him too like the, the lobster, lobster bit thing. as well they're, they're funny it's like yeah it's like don't don't do that <laughs> and i that's that's what's great about that character is you could you throw him in here and there yeah. and he just really steals the show yeah. Mm-hmm. uh yeah. i think he's great I, I think the the actor that plays him is great um that character is is the goofball of the show yeah. And that's 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 fine, you know. Star, um, Starlight, mm-hmm. um, I'm fine with. I don't need any more real. I think her and Hugh are. Yeah, I like that. I like what they're doing with that. But it's, yeah, it's Black a fine Noir. relationship. Yeah, Black Noir. Give me give give us more Black Noir. Give us more Mother's Milk. Give us more of the uh, of of, uh, of of Miko. I want to I want to know about her because they you have you, you incorporate very mysterious. Whole, yeah, you you because they've also they have the collective, you have Vought, and then you have the uh, uh, whatever the tor- terrorist organization. Her and her brother were kind of a part of in in Japan and stuff like that. You have uh, they're almost like the equivalent of like what the hand would be or something like that. Like they're creating assassins and shipping them in and things like that. Yeah. More about that group because I think that group definitely has more of a uh, a place to play as well too. They seem like the uh, the anti vot group that could maybe be folded into um, season three, maybe a little bit more, where you get this vot versus terrorist organization type thing maybe going on a little bit more. Uh, Stormfront, do you feel like 
she's going to be in season three, or do you feel like season two is going to be it for her? Uh, I think she'll be. I think she will probably become more of the. I don't know. It depends on how they maybe restructure villain types. Maybe I kind of. I was kind of hero types where she she has. I mean, she's like kind of like in some ways the backbone of everything right now, or turned out to be the backbone of a lot of things. So, I think. I like her history where her history expand like goes out so long and then you kind of find out in one of the episodes that she was a previous character and then a previous character before that so I I like the fact that she's yeah the evolution of this character continues which I think is fucked up and fun because there are other characters that get introduced for one episode or for even a second yeah um, which i think some of them some of those characters they, they allude to it when in episode six one of the characters that you think is who was the dead. who was the the blind guy that was going to replace the replacement character i forget his name when murray homeland homelander was like um oh i want to i want to see him i want to talk to him and they go down and he's doing his thing he's like oh homelander and and Homelander just fucking blows his fucking ears out. Oh yeah, that guy, well he was just kind of a. Uh, oh, but, they wanted to. They were looking for new people in the seven. Like, hey, right. here's, oh, what's your name? Uh, replacement Maggie, for. Or, oh, uh, what's your name? The assistant. Transparent. Yeah, replacement for, for transparent. It's like, oh, well, this uh, this plays well because like, oh. He's disabled. A, he's a disabled minority. He's Asian. He can't see things like that. Yeah, you're 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 checking off all you're the checking boxes. Checking off all the boxes to make sure the the seven. Which is, is hilarious the, because again, yeah. this show's showing what we're living through right now. It's yeah. like, oh no, no, this has to check off. You have to. Yeah. This person Every can box, only have this yeah. if it's for that. Every character needs to represent somebody in some. Way. And Homelander just it's takes like, the one thing he has. Yes, and just destroys it destroys and, it. It, and it, i love that yeah i, I love them was... introducing characters and then just yeah it's like no this isn't gonna work and i thought that's what um uh <laughs> stormfront was gonna be i thought stormfront when i first yeah. met her mm-hmm. was a throwaway character here she is coming in she's doing live videos on her phone on social yeah. media she's like this, saying yeah. things about vault that are just extreme yeah, like oh my god, you can't fucking say that. You work for Vault. For you work Vault. for. She is part of Vault, but yet she's yeah. she is of the Seven, and she's like, the the Seven are terrible. The Seven say this and they do yeah. that, and Vault is a terrible company, and you need to yeah. speak up. And it's funny because it turns out there's so much there, and I love the fact that she wasn't just a throwaway character. It was the episode where. They're chasing um, the female and her brother and yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and the boys, mm-hmm. and you find out she's even darker than fucking Homelander. Yeah, worse than Homelander. Like mm-hmm. and even Homelander's like, he's not upset about what she does. He's he's more upset because, hey, that was supposed to be what I would do instead of you. So it, it gets more about the um, his relationship with women and things like that and like yeah he's got some mommy issues yeah well, yeah well, that goes all the back that goes back to season one about his fucking mommy issues and no matter what he wants he's gonna get it so um I, I don't know I mean do they well they, they, they kind of put an extra wrinkle in the last episode with um you know because in season one you find out about you know Billy Butcher, you know, it's not his kid, but you know, you find out that uh, Homelander has a kid with who you thought was a dead character, and now he's got a kid and everything. So now you throw an extra wrinkle in there, and then you're throwing extra wrinkles about this this hearing that you have in episode seven that you're still kind of not sure what's you know going on. It's there's definitely some explosive things happening in that in that courtroom yeah. but you don't know who, but you don't know what who's causing it so. yeah you have an idea from season six there's uh, a hitchhiker season six okay we're getting i mean uh, episode six yeah That's <laughs> that, that seventh <laughs> cup of coffee is hitting me. i know right too many coffees it's pushing me downward um that uh, episode six uh somebody is hitchhiking and they get picked up yeah and i have a fear i have a theory that she's being utilized mm-hmm 
uh, assassinating yeah. uh, certain people. And this character's ability is just blowing heads up. It's just blowing people up. That's Not even really... it's blowing anything up. It's basically Magneto. If Magneto can just control anything and explode anything. Basically, right. But the problem yeah. with Magneto is it has to be uh, a metal. It has to be metal. This right. character doesn't have to be metal. This it's one. It could be and biological. It could be. It makes other superheroes fucking shit themselves. Yeah. It's almost as, you know, like Black Noir makes everybody else shit themselves. This character was like, oh, fuck. But this character could have blown somebody's head off and they didn't. So it leads me to believe that there is a connection there. Um, the, the connection to the uh, to the housing area where there's other characters hanging out. So because mm-hmm. we, we get we get to kind of explore that in episode six. Yes, we're peeling the layers off a little at a time and it's mm-hmm. just it just gets bigger and bigger and it's exciting, man. I really yeah. I'm looking forward to season three, season four. This is a show that I'm just looking like, forward to the end of season two. So I still yeah, got one episode left. I day. know, but I'm an addict, man. I want more. He wants the shit I want into his vein. I don't want to inject myself, and I just want to have these elusive dreams of, of living in this world. Elusive and lucid. Lucid and elusive dreams. You just think about what's going on with the show right now. So. I mean, I wouldn't want to live in this world because this world seems like it's sh- like a shithole and a half. No, this seems like a, I mean, but we, we live in a shithole and a half of the world right now. So. What's what's worse, our world or this world that everybody else is in? Uh, that's a very hard what's worse, thing the boys' world answer. or our current current hellscape that we deal with and everything? Because in reality, it's the same world. Yeah. Same yeah. problems. Yeah. It is the same problems, except we just don't have to worry about. You know, assassins blowing our Homelander heads just Homelander is coming against murdering fucking, us all, murdering like just hearing like he would hear us right now saying this shit and just go down and just you just what fucking eye laser all of us right yeah so we don't have to worry about that though we could worry about other things like that happening to us I yeah, suppose but it, it would take a little bit longer we do have an invisible uh, killer that is, is stalking everybody. There is the last yeah. seven yeah. months now. The last seven months, he, he he picked his he picked his latest victim earlier this week. Which I know. He's, I don't think a lot of people were upset about. Well, half and half, I guess. Well, right. Depending on who, we won't depending get too on what side of what, depending on what side of the uh, the uh, the stage you like to pr- participate on. That's what we'll say about that. That's all we'll say. So That's we'll see. see. We'll see what season what's what the season three will. Will bring us, but more importantly, for right now, we'll see what the finale season two, season two will end two and this episode where it's going to go. Because honestly, at this point, there's a few ways they can go with, with yeah. this eighth episode. Well, do you think they get lazy with the eight ep- with the eighth episode, considering the fact that they already know they have another season that they can explain no, i stuff. feel like they got they, 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 they keep the fucking yeah you think they just keep the fucking pressure on hey, a c stay in there and they just keep fucking us right now they could and in a way they will in a way they will yeah. but episode seven the way it ended yeah there's a continuation of that well, especially that last scene that last scene is very telling of what may or may not be a thing right now which hopefully you and I maybe are on the same. I don't know if we're on the same wavelength, but you know, there's definitely something that's uh, a, a wink and a nod that could potentially be a thing. Don't know though. It's gonna be awesome. Don't fucking know yet. You know, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna find out in about six days now. <laughs>